everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins, along with Jennifer Brown Day. Mm -hmm. And Jennifer, it's about time to go back to school. It is. Summer's almost over. Can you believe it? It was like we had this big, long winter that we were like, we want summer, and then summer just is gone. It's flown by, and that's what we were talking about earlier. I think either one of us would be excited to get a summer break like some of these kids have had. I know. They've had a long one, even though it's been hot and humid. Mm-hmm. But I guess this is a busy time for you guys. It is. This is when realtors stay pretty busy. Uh, obviously, people's schedules free up a little bit, tend to, with, with no school in. I guess, and I'm just guessing, people <laughs> find out how small their homes really are when the kids are <laughs> home all summer. Exactly, exactly. And this is the perfect time to do those drive-bys before you've got all the school traffic and the school buses out on the road. So this is the perfect time to stay in your air-conditioned car and mm -hmm. to drive around looking for that house. All right, well, let's get started okay. with, and we're going to route everything today where people can drive from all five of our listings. Absolutely. Okay, let's mm -hmm. start on just off of Little Creek. This is mm -hmm. actually Deadening Fork. This is Deadening Fork, like you said, off Little Creek, which is on the south end of Pikeville, right off 23. And it's it's a country setting. It is, it is. This house is a fairly new build. It was actually built in 2000, mm -hmm. but it sits on about 30 acres, and that's estimated per the property owner. Um, so you've got a little bit of a country setting. You've got the hillside acreage behind you, but you also have a really nice flat yard space that's very usable. And, and you're seeing the pictures right now on the mm -hmm. screen. and. How comfortable does that look? I mean, that looks like the most cozy little house. And I'm looking at it, and I'm seeing this big yard. So mm -hmm. that's a lot bigger than a normal lot. Absolutely. This is probably a half acre to maybe an acre of flat usable land. And it actually, they're going to leave the large swing set in the yard. So for those kids that are still out of school, this is the perfect house to go out and play. You know, and just uh, just almost 2,000 square feet, mm -hmm. so you've got a lot of room, too. Yeah, absolutely. This is, It's an 1,800 square foot house, but you do have a bedroom on the first floor. And every single person that's looked at this house so far is a fairly new listing, but it's had quite a bit of showings on it. Every single person is shocked at how big these bedrooms are. All three bedrooms are very mm -hmm. nice size. And then you're looking, too, you're looking at the price at mm -hmm. under $130,000. And then you're seeing, what, it has 30 acres with it. So Absolutely. this almost has everything. It does. It does. It's got a lot of potential. Um, it's got a big driving area where you can pull in, turn around, that kind of stuff. Because Deadening Fort can be a little bit narrow. Mm -hmm. But you have plenty of room in the driveway to take care of getting cars turned around and that kind of stuff. You have a lot of storage. Every bedroom has a large walk-in closet plus additional eve storage off of them. So you really have a lot with this house. And, and the location, we're saying Deadening Fort, mm -hmm. but it's actually just off of Little Creek. It is. Off of Little Creek, which is south of, tw of Pikeville on right. kind of off 23. So convenient to town, but Very. yeah, country setting with 30 acres of property. Yep, yep, absolutely. All right, one of these houses that you have to see to believe you heard her say people are like oh wow when they get inside mm -hmm. and that lets you know these pictures are not doing this home justice so one zero five five eight nine is the number one twenty nine nine on that listing now let's stay uh, on that area on that side of town and uh -huh. let's go to hoopwood branch which is right off of the right fork of island creek correct right okay. fork of island creek so you're off main island creek to right fork of island creek and then you've got hoopwood branch which is only about a half acre up right fork of island creek and a four bedroom home so mm -hmm. this one's one that you can move your family into and have lots of space absolutely and this one has so much space it's it's actually a little bit shocking you've got about 5,000 square feet of living space in this house so you've got a first floor master you've got three bedrooms on the second floor plus a theater room with surround sound and all of the amenities you can want in there and then you've got a third floor recreation room private office family room area this one has it all so somebody has definitely put their mark and spent a lot of time and put their heart into this house. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's if you look at the pictures, it's it's noticeable. I'm looking at the pictures now, mm -hmm. and it's almost like something out of a magazine. Yes. And yes. it doesn't look like our normal mountainside homes around here. I mean, it's just got it's got space and a beautiful in-ground pool. Yes, you have in-ground pool, and they've done a wonderful job of landscaping around the land of the in-ground pool. Mm -hmm. It's kind of amazing how much landscaping and cleaning up a property really make a difference. But if you look at these pictures, 
I mean, this pool just looks so scenic sitting out in this yard with all the landscaping. You know, and you've got the theater room mm -hmm. and the surround sound. So mm -hmm. you've got all the amenities of some place you would go pay money mm -hmm. to go to to get these services, but you've got them right at home. Absolutely, absolutely. And going back to the in-ground pool, it does have a half bath outside that's accessible for the in-ground pool. And then if you look in the pictures, you have that large metal garage. And mm -hmm. I'm not a car person, but I've been told <laughs> anybody that is a big car lover, this is the garage for them. It is a 32 by 64 garage. Perfect. I see for that a car it's got lover. the big bay door that's mm -hmm. going to open up to drive in and out like a garage, and it's got the small door too. I mean, you know, and think of beyond cars, just any big projects that you want to do in this oh, big absolutely. metal building. Yes. Right on the property. Yep. Absolutely. And, and even the building's landscaped around it. Mm hmm. <laughs> So, yeah, this is, uh, I bet, one that you definitely want to make an appointment to see if you're in the market. Absolutely. All right, this one is 105712. The price on this one, Jennifer, five ninety nine nine. That's correct. All right, if somebody wanted to see this house, mm -hmm. give you a call, shoot you an email? Absolutely. Give me a call or shoot me an email, either one. And both of these, actually all the ones we're doing today are out of the Pikeville office. Mm -hmm. So they can call that number, and that number is 606-437-2333. All right. Now, moving along, not far from the right fork mm -hmm. of Island Creek, where mm -hmm. this one is, just over on Toller. Correct. Is the next home we're going to talk about. And you literally stay on right fork of Island Creek. It turns into Toller Creek as it crosses into Floyd County, and this house is not very far at all on your left. And this is, if you're going on Island Creek and you turn on right fork, mm -hmm. like you said, you're yeah. going to go down the small country road with nice homes, mm -hmm. go over a hill, and it's just over the other side of the hill. Correct. Right past the little sign that said Floyd County. Exactly. So the, the good thing about this one is you can access, you can drive on on Tuller Creek and come mm -hmm. out across the Harold Bridge, or you can Correct. come back and come into Pikeville Absolutely. on Island Creek. Absolutely. It's very easily accessed, but you still have that country setting to it. And 2,800 square feet, mm -hmm. so a large home. This is a very large home, and it's a completely renovated home. They went in and actually added a formal living room, a formal dining room, and two upstairs bedrooms and a bathroom when they did renovations. So you've got five bedrooms, three of which are on the first floor in the original part of the house. But you have a lot of space in this house. And it is one of those that's going to be deceiving. Because looking at the pictures on the screen, it's like... How much space? Mm -hmm. So I guess this is another one of those homes when people walk inside and, and say, wow. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And they, when they did the updates, they really did some nice updates. They've got hardwood floor. They've got granite countertops. And they put in a gas fireplace in the family room. So they really, they didn't do some, some small work. They really, really did it well. All right, this is one that, that people definitely need to look at, and the price mm -hmm. isn't bad either. Not at all. They've got it listed at two forty nine nine, and it comes with an above-ground pool, um, a completely flat lot that's about a half acre, so a lot with this one as well. Right, and then we've always talked about, you know, they want to plant a small garden, mm -hmm. and we've had more than enough rain this year for one to grow very good. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> and you've got plenty of room. So anything that you want to plan, and the good thing about this, you've got enough space that if yeah. it's not there now, there's no reason why you can't add it. Exactly. Come definitely take a look at this house on Toller. 105665 is that number. And Jennifer, your phone number once again to the Pikeville office? Is 606-437-2333. Okay. Now let's move into downtown Pikeville. Now this okay. is a house we featured a couple weeks ago, uh -huh. but I think it's been, you've had some calls on it, so it's worth, definitely worth mentioning again. Absolutely. This area is really popular. Obviously, you're close to the college, you're close to the hospital, you're close to schools, you're close to the downtown area, so we tend to get a lot of calls on downtown listings. Right, and this one's on Derby Street. Mm -hmm. So if you're not familiar with where Derby Street is, it's there's a red light mm -hmm. on Hambly Boulevard mm -hmm. where the pipe will, the public library is. Correct. Turn up Julius Avenue mm -hmm. and it's on your left, correct? You will go, yes, it'll be on your left right off Jefferson Street, which you okay. will see as you go up the hill. And, and you mentioned U-Pike and you mentioned downtown mm -hmm. and 
I mean, if you're a student or even a professor or Absolutely. anything, you can walk. Absolutely. I would just imagine that these houses are becoming more popular. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great for investment property, too, because we do have a lot of rentals and that kind of stuff in the area. So mm -hmm. for any investors looking for a good investment property, this is a four-bedroom, two-bath, so it's perfect for that as well. And they've got it priced mm -hmm. very reasonable. Absolutely. For what it is. And then, and then if you look at the pictures, that deck. Mm -hmm is one of those things that would make me personally want to go look at this house. Exactly, exactly. That plus the storage and the car space that they added with that two-car garage, mm -hmm. those are the big amenities that really will sell this house. So, you know, everything we just mentioned as far mm -hmm. as being, you know, downtown, access to everything, and, and with the active lifestyle that people are starting to live now, and you see more and more people running 5Ks. And, yes, exactly. And getting out, and, and you're one of them, <laughs> and getting out and running, I mean, this this house, you're not going to have to drive anywhere to go exercise. No, you're, you're right in the middle of everything, so you can definitely do it from there. Okay. This one is on Derby Street in downtown Pikeville, 105579. And we've touched on why that's important before, but talk about that MLS listing really quick and why that's so important. Okay. Any realtor in the area, we all log into the same MLS system. Those listing numbers actually are so easy to pull up on the computer so that a realtor can pull up anybody's listing. And a lot mm -hmm. of times you never know what the street name, if it's spelled different, what's capitalized. So the number is just a very straightforward way of finding out exactly which house it is. Especially when you're excited about that specific house. Those six digits will get you to that house that much faster. Exactly. Okay, now let's talk about our last listing. Okay is really close to Pikeville, just mm -hmm. outside the city limits, but it's up Boulders East. Correct. And we've talked about this one before as well, but this is another one that I like to hit on because it is such a popular listing and it really needs the attention because whoever gets this house is going to be very pleased. You know, and I remember talking about this, this aspect of this house before is, well, first of all, Boulders East. Mm -hmm. If you're going up Buckley's Creek or Route 119 Correct. from the Walmart intersection, mm -hmm. You get to the red light at the top of the hill, which you can turn right and go straight down into downtown Pikeville. Correct. If you look left, that's these homes up on the hill. Exactly. Exactly. And this one, if you're looking at the pictures, you're like, where is that located? Mm -hmm. Because from the road looking up, you have no idea there's that much space. Exactly. This one has a deceivingly large yard, which I think we hit on last time that I was here. But this yard, they've got an in-ground pool. They have a large yard space, a mm -hmm. nice patio area. You really have a lot of outdoor space in the back that when driving by or looking at the pictures is kind of hard to imagine. This is one you definitely need to see in person. And then it's got that beautiful in-ground pool. Mm -hmm. And with the weather and this hot, <laughs> humid weather we've been having lately, everybody who has a pool right now is probably so thankful they spent that extra money on that pool. Absolutely. And I would <laughs> give money for me to have one right now. But no, this one has a very nice pool. And the great thing about this pool is they have the house situated so that the main part of the house actually opens up to the pool area, which is extremely convenient. So right off the pool, you're at the kitchen, mm -hmm. the living room, you've got a bathroom very conveniently located, and everything is right there. You know, and it's got a fireplace. Mm -hmm. And then you were talking about that kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's a very spacious kitchen. It is. Which is great for large families. It is. And it's a very open layout, which again is very popular right now, is the open layouts. Mm -hmm. So you have the kitchen that's open to the dining area, which is open to the family room with, like you said, that fireplace that all looks out on the pool area. I mean, just this house makes me think of Thanksgivings and Christmas and the family gatherings because well, we all know we've been there. Where yep. does everyone end up? We end up in the kitchen. Yes, absolutely. And this would be a great kitchen to end up in. This sounds like a great house to actually end up in. Mm -hmm. $279,000 for this home on Boulders East. Well, Jennifer, like we said, let's reiterate again, it's the time of year. People mm -hmm. are a little bit stir crazy with the kids at home. Get out in the vehicles. Go drive by. And when you see that, whether it's a Red Runner Williams sign or not, you can still call Jennifer and she can show you that house. Absolutely. We'll help any way that possible that we can. Okay. Well, I'm going to step out and let you do your real estate minute. Sounds good. When looking for a property to purchase, Red Runner Williams Real Estate recommends finding a realtor you trust and working with them throughout the process. Whether it be our company or another, Finding a realtor to walk you through the entire process is a huge help to you. Realtors in Eastern Kentucky co-broker. 
which means any realtor you work with can show you any listing. Luckily, the realtors of Eastern Kentucky work well together and truly believe that success in our area is a result of working together. Working together is truly a thing that allows Eastern Kentucky to remain vital and strong, even through economic downturns and tough times. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Rare Brown and Williams Show. We look forward to working with you in the future.